In today's episode, we see the lanes at Shadyside completely packed. Great racing all day as drivers try to get a hold of this track. And some great route stops as we travel across South Carolina as part of our drive in today's video. What's up guys and welcome to 3G Video where today we are at Shadyside Dragway here in Shelby, North Carolina where we're getting ready to start day one of Street and Yeet. It's going to be an amazing event. We got a lot of cars up top. It's completely packed. We got the drivers meeting. We got cars coming down getting ready to start for round one. So let's go get started with today's video. in the lanes getting ready to get started with the day got a lot of cool cars out at the event and we got a ton that have been coming in today as well circuit here uh, we've seen them at drag week uh, they weren't racing but we saw them hanging out there she's actually running the nitrous today in the thing so hopefully we can make a good lick here We have our truck class up, a whole bunch of trucks, and in it has uh, the GMC over there in the far lane. That thing is rowdy. So let's uh, see what he can put down here if we can get it to stick. For the so as you can see, we got a ton of cars up here in the lanes coming through. The uh, car count is definitely up this year. We got so many cool cars. A lot of returning faces, but also a lot of new, man. some track prep done man we got the stage lanes completely full and then wrapped around up the hill that's insane Hi. well we got some familiar faces up here in the lanes how many cars did you guys bring like, we brought eight is it eight seven or eight six or seven Oh, it's more than six because we had six and I was like, we're missing a couple last night. We were driving back Bruh. to the hotel. I was looking for headlights and I was like, we're missing one. <laughs> I was like, we're missing cars. <laughs> It's insane, it's eight, dude. Eight, including Clyde, yeah. I'm so Clyde excited. Clyde. Like, this event's growing, and I'm just like, I'm it's so awesome. excited. This like, is one of my favorite ones. This is insane. So, is what, uh, what's the plan for today? What, uh, what you trying? We're not sure. We're going to leave the tune-up that was in it uh, that we did testing with last week. Uh, we went to a private test Wednesday night, and we did the wheelie. Yeah. We leave that tune-up in it minus 100 RPM on the lead. <sighs> so, I'm just going to make a hit, see if it goes down, then we'll decide what it does here. Huh? Cool. And, and make a make a change and make, we're definitely gonna make two passes today in this perfect, perfect. well so that's the we're doing some track prep so hopefully hopefully get it on point for you and we yeah. might see it do hopefully, a little bit of a wheelie I don't have to pull all of its guts oh, okay. out to yeah. get it to go down the yeah, track yeah yeah <laughs> yeah maybe it'll stand on the bumper who knows who who knows cool dude but we'll see you down there appreciate it buddy all right so 
got that cleaned up on the big end. We are good to go. Four S10 goes to 960 at seven. Okay, cool. I have no idea how Kyle got up here this quickly. They started pulling uh, that big line up, and then he just ended up at the front somehow. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, let's see if he uh, puts something on the bumper. Well, it hung the tire in second. Gee, man, hey, stick shift car going to 578, 127 mile an hour. All right, we got Bumblebee over there. At least that's what I'm going to call it because it looks like the... ...801 for the second gen Camaro, and the Nova just kind of sits there. Seventy-three for the. Six twelve at hundred and eleven, and a six ninety-three in the left lane for the. Bottom. to a 736 that dakota is the one his uh the lady that's with him has that sphinx cat it's really cool all right so we're moving into i believe this is one of those streetcar classes but we got the 260z chevelle there got adam green and his camaro it's a good lineup oh buddy look who else is over here how are you guys good how are you this thing all sorted well we don't know yet okay well we'll find out it's right work in progress Okay, cool. Well, we'll see how you do up there, okay? Good luck. Thank you. All right, so we got the Maverick, and we got the 260 lined up here. This is gonna be a cool pair. reason so we'll see you then. officials out it looks like we might have antifreeze down the track so that is not fun so we're gonna have to do a little bit of a little clean up here get that all taken care of it we'll be down just right, so while we're down and came back in the lanes and look there's a nissan 240 this thing's really cool man hey what's going on Appreciate Can you tell it. me a little bit about your car what's up yeah, so 89 240 so 2j swap t56 magnum uh, so pretty much you know, gas build, street noir, and your car. see what That's you awesome. can do. You said it's making about 650 Yeah, is that? yeah, about 650 to the back. That's cool. So, have you have you drag raced it before then? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, um, what's your normal time ETs? You know, you mid tens. You know, okay. 10 five, 10 seven, pretty much. Okay, in so the quarter. In the quarter. Okay. So eighth mile, like 
Friday. Best of 660, but anything awesome. like 7 0 and under, I'm I'm going. That's cool, yeah. man. Awesome. Well, yeah. is this your first Dragon Drive or have you done this before? So, this is my second with Street and Yeet. Okay. And that's the only one I've been able to. And you do. did it with this car? Yeah, that's this car really? the first year they did it. Yeah. Okay, I, I think I, yeah, I missed the first year. Okay. Stick Shift, Street and Yeet. Awesome. First year. So, last year we didn't do it, but here we are again this year. Cool. So, well, good luck, and I will see you out there. Looking forward to it, man. Appreciate Perfect. it. Yep. All right, we got the 240 up. Let's see what he can put down. Oh. Fighting a heavy spin there. Right lane gets down first in a 778 and an 869 for the 240. Pontiac Gasser up. He said that the bottom end of this engine is actually stock out of this car. They just slapped a big blower on it. They're gonna just see how long it'll last. So let's see what the uh, what the old gasser wagon can do. Looks like they got some blow by coming out of it. And fine. Three in the left lane and a 10.69 in the right with some smoke. They're gonna go down and check it. Oh man, it's still smoking out the top of it. Right, so they're getting the track cleaned up for just a second. Z's back in the lanes, dude. This thing is so cool. Can you tell me about it? So it's a 74 260Z that has a small block Chevy in it and a turbo 350. It's just, it's like a fun car. I do everything with it. I've done hill climbs and autocross and time attack on a road course and drag racing. Dude, that's awesome. And it was my DD for a while. Okay. Just the way it sits. And this is your first drag and drive thing? That's my first drag and drive thing. Awesome, man. Well, welcome to the family. Hopefully you really enjoy it. What's what's your thoughts so far? It's been good fun so far. Okay. We'll see how the driving part goes. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see you out uh, on the track and we'll see you out on the road. So, yeah, cool. have a great day, man. Thanks. All right, we are back to racing. We got the old F body. This thing is pretty stout, man. He's one of the, one of the crew of eight down here that came down... Uh, up north so let's see uh, what they can put down here first pass for him for the S10. All right, we got another one of the uh, crew of eight up here in the other F-body. Man, they got a lot of F-bodies in their group. And we got the beautiful twin turbo Chevelle here. Let's see if they can get a good pass in. Not a great pass at a 936 for the Chevelle and not way early after a big spin. We got a spicy pair of trucks here. Oh. Left one goes down to 619 at 125. The Colorado having some issues, 781. At 101. Okay, we got a pair of Camaros. Yesterday, this Camaro in the far lane was the very first pass he's ever made. So now he's a veteran out here racing for today. So the identifies as Cobalt Blue S10 over there. And he's got some really cool uh, prismatic seats in there. And then got the whole vibe going on for like this 80s thing. I love it. Uh, let's see what he can put down the track. See if it'll hold what he's got for the S10. And of course the Mustang, of course.
360 for the S10 and an 820 for the Mustang with a heavy spin. Okay, after a little bit of delay, we are back. We got the Pony Express up. down to a 693 after us. All right, we got the Tiny Tire Elko. I thought we got the S2000 over there. This is a cool pair. off the track look who made it up here we got the sp tools you back they had that axle they broke last night they're able to pick up one and get a spare so they're here gonna make a pass so they can get on the road it is winding down we still got a lot of cars in the lanes but uh we're getting close to that time to have to head out All right, guys before we got, are gonna get going we gotta check in with this car this is one of the they had an issue with it last night um, and it wasn't running right. However, they found out it was the distributor. They got it fixed. And they're up here going to try to uh, put down a really good pass. Alongside the S10 over there with the turbo sticking out the hood. I met those guys yesterday. They're really cool. there unfortunately but that stuff happens Let's see what the s10 can do s10 goes down to an 830 popped up on the other side again we got that 60z we got the ford maverick he had a big spin on his first pass. We'll see if he can redeem himself. Seven seventy-eight and seven eighty-seven. After a big comeback, getting parts, having to go all the way to the shop to get parts made this morning. Getting back, getting the Ute together. They're ready to make their first pass of actual competition here. I really hope it holds together. You just get a good pass. Oh. oh, that was a lot of tire chatter. Hopefully, it's uh, hopefully it didn't hurt anything. Left lane goes to a 726 and a 14 of 50 for the. All right, we got the Chevelle back up for its third pass. Hopefully, this will be the uh, first one that it doesn't spin. Uh, get down. Man. Uh, we just sent the Chevelle, and uh, we're fighting a misting problem. It's just been kind of misting and raining. It's on and off, so that's really annoying. Just having to deal with that, we are kind of dropping number of cars in the lanes and I think a lot of people are getting on the road so we're gonna need to head that way uh man it kind of stinks to miss some of them but you know we gotta get all some. right well it's time to get on the road we've been fighting mist but now we got blue skies so they're gonna be getting those guys in and look at what I ended up getting on my car I just came back to the car and had that so uh <laughs> we're uh, just gonna fill up the back window it looks like at this rate that's cool okay Let's get on the road. All right, we're gonna roll up through the pits, see if there's anybody leaving right now. We might try to leave with some people, but we're gonna get on the route, which isn't actually a route, it's just kind of go to the checkpoints um, however way you want to. So we're gonna go to the check first checkpoint and hopefully catch up with some of the uh, racers there. All right, well, it looks like we still got some people here, so that's really good. Uh, we'll be able to see some people out on the road. See you guys. <laughs> okay, guys, time to hit the road. We got the
misting. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, I think they're having it a little worse than I am. Oh, no windshield wiper thing is getting kind of old, so I can kind of do that by hand there for a second. <laughs> but first checkpoint is down here at this old uh, gas station. So let's go see if I get some pictures and see what cool rolls through. We also got one of these mask guys sitting right there. That's awesome. So this is our first checkpoint. This was an old gas station. It was his grandfather that actually opened this place. That is so cool. So we're hanging out, we're across the road here. Camp on the Chevelle. You guys are having some issues? Yeah, we're having uh, ECU problems. It's running a little hot, so the ECU okay. doesn't want to you know, connect to the, to the motor right now. So okay. we're just letting it cool down. The problem is the turbo is just on the other side of the firewall. So this is the, the first that we've actually really driven the car 80 miles at one yeah. time. So, you know, we're just uh, working through some of these little nuances of a new car. And yep. We'll keep digging on it. Yeah, you'll figure it out. That's oh, yeah, all good. Absolutely. Cool, man. Well, good luck, and uh, we'll see you at the second checkpoint hopefully Appreciate later. It. Sounds good. Okay. Have a good drive. Take care. All right, we got some more of our guys rolling into the gas station. However, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get on the road to get to the second checkpoint, which is about an hour and 15 away. Not too terrible. It's already getting dark. Oh, my gosh. It's getting annoying. See them? Hopefully. I'm going to drop for tomorrow. CPR performance, our second checkpoint of the event. Got a ton of cars hanging out. I believe there's supposed to be a taco truck. And uh, oh, yep, they got tacos and stuff over there. So pretty cool, got food. Everybody's just kind of hanging out in the parking lot. That's a pretty cool vibe. They even got like chairs and stuff set up down there. All right, so got talking, but this truck pulled in. I've had a lot of guys say uh, this truck's really cool. I haven't got to see it too much yet. So we're gonna kind of check in on it. Wanted to keep the carpet in it for the look. Oh, wow. No, this thing looks good. I mean, you got like full interior in it. Yeah. That's sick. So got LS twin turbo deal in it, making like 1300 horsepower. This is awesome. And you said you just set the world record in sand drags, correct? Yes. For 300 feet? Sand slash dirt. Dude, so, and it was, what What was that record that you uh, said? The, the new record that I set was 452 with a two, pretty sure. Hey. Yeah. So, and that like, almost 80 mile an hour something like that it was in, 70 79 point something dude so in 300 feet like yeah. on sand that's yeah. insane so the weird thing is so thomas carneal is the gentleman that held the record before i took it okay um so world sand drag news does their recognition you make a backup pass you submit all the information and all that stuff and then registration insurance license plates yeah on the truck with pictures of it you know to make sure it's all legit yeah and uh i didn't know this but they break down the record in the et and mile an hour oh wow okay so he still holds the, the mile an hour record okay so I, it, the truck is working really good on the short track but he still got mile an hour on the outback okay. so but it set the record the third time it ever went to the sand dude that's insane the third time the third. it ever went to the sand that's awesome so, so you got it you'll you'll get there you'll get the mile an hour oh one. yeah Dude, it's got, I haven't even started working on chassis yet. Dude, that's awesome. You know, we just put some more beans in it down low and turned it loose. And there you go. And now you're out here to drag and drive, gonna try yeah. your luck at that, huh? Yeah, and then take the sand drag tires off, put the 275s on all four cool. corners. That's and, sick. You know, then knock those off, put the old uh, <laughs> Chinese 31 there 750s you go. on here, and do some, do do some, some bird outs. Do some driving. There yeah. Is it all is it all time four wheel drive or is no, it, it is okay. selectable? So this is actually a Dana 30 front axle okay. that I built from scratch, and it, it doesn't have locking hubs. It's a unit bearing hub. Okay. Um, so technically, it's the 
front shafts are locked together at all times. Okay. But it's still a selectable 241. Oh, that's cool. Uh, MV241K. So awesome. I'll do a two wheel drive burnout for now. I've got plans to work on the four wheel drive burnout. Oh, I think people okay. like that. That'd be cool. But yeah, it's selectable 241. So I do a two wheel drive burnout as I'm rolling up to the beams. Just yeah. click, click it, it up in four wheel drive okay. and then go through my start procedure. Awesome, man. Well, I love the truck. Cool to see you out here. Glad you're experiencing Drag and Drive with us. Oh, I have a blast so far. It's, good, it's dude. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we'll keep up with you. We'll see you tomorrow at the track. Absolutely. Awesome. Appreciate it. Just how deep it is as we go. Okay, so I think we're getting packed up, heading to the track. I'm going to follow these guys in. Uh, they're camping. However, uh, there's apparently a lot of flooding, and a lot of the roads are out. So we're going to we're gonna attempt it. Um, I'm a little nervous. I'm actually going to get some stuff and put it out of the floorboard because I don't want it. I don't want another uh, Roswell incident. So here goes nothing. All right. It uh, it got foggy on us. I need to get some gas before we head over the track. Apparently, it's only what 28 miles, 26 something. 20 so, miles away. only 28 miles. It's gonna be fine right until we hit water, but it'll be fine. Oh, there's no water. Ah. It's always an adventure. It is always an adventure. So. Dollar bet, there's no water. I gotta. I don't, I don't water. bet, but I'm just there's nervous. Dollar, there's water you can drive through. I mean, I could see that. That I could see that there's water you could drive through. I. Just with the text that came through not that long ago, that they're like, hey, there's a foot of water in this road. It makes me nervous. Remember, this track is only an hour 15 from my house. Yeah, yeah. I do live in it. That's valid. That's valid. Okay. Well, we're going to bomb down the road and see what we come against. Fine. He's also sitting here with, like, a ton of, like, clearance. No, clearance. Truck tires yeah. the same height. Huh? Air filters are the same height. Our air filters the same height? Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. That'd be great. Mud bog in time. It'll be great. <laughs> well, there was in fact water across the road, so uh, we're gonna go through this nice and easy. Stay to the left as much as possible. the track there's a nice fog over everything we got cars parking up tents going up we got a, our own porta pot over here there's like a lot of cars you can barely see them over there but there's a ton of people camping this is cool all right so let's take a little gander around man we got cars just stacked in here camping this is the most amount of campers i think i've seen at a dragon drive yet this is so cool now, mind you, it's like 1 a.m. now, so I mean, a lot of the people have already went to bed, obviously, but I've been, uh, got to staying up. I ended up talking. I end up getting talking sometimes. <laughs> got talking to some of our uh, friends here, and it's a, it's a really cool vibe having everybody hang out at the track. And if you do one of these, I highly recommend camping because it is just such a good time. Well, I got back to the car, got editing, and kind of fell asleep a little bit. So it is actually morning. We got everybody starting to get up, uh, helping Adam for day two. We got two tracks on day two. So make sure you're looking forward to that video. It's going to be coming out tomorrow. And thank you guys for being here for today's video. I really appreciate all the support. It's been cool having new people come on throughout the year. And that is that is so cool. Um, it's part of that, like growing that family, just like we have a family in Christ. And I just hope that uh, what we're doing here can kind of extend into uh, your Christ family, you know, and if you guys ever need any prayer or anything, make sure you hit a comment down there or uh, just send an email. I believe there's an email in the description down there as well. We'll be happy to pray for you. Um, you have a family in Christ and that's what we're called to be as the body of Christ. So make sure to lean on them when you need it and don't and know that anytime you're going through a hard time, there are people out there and God's out there for you. Okay. So anyways, have a blessed day as always. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit a like, and hit us, um, hit the little bell notification. And we really appreciate all of that. Have a blessed day, and I'll talk to you guys next time.